good morning students welcome to our max class in the last class you are seeing the trapezium in that we shall recall some a parallelogram with one pair of dash is known as trapezium non parallel yes non parallel non parallel sides is known as trapezium the distance between the parallel sides is dash of the trapezium hmm say the distance between parallel sides that is these two are parallel sides isn't it the distance between these two parallel sides is known as yes height okay then if the non parallel sides are equal then it is an dash trapezium non parallel sides these two are the non parallel sides these two non parallel sides are equal means as it is isosceles trapezium isosceles trapezium okay the diagonals of the rhombus divide it into two dash of equal area the diagonals of the rhombus divide it into four dash of equal area hmm say four what are the four triangle of equal area triangles how many triangles yes four triangles of equal area in rhombus the diagonal bisect each other at yes it is at which uh, which degree in the angle 90 degree okay we we'll move to exercise 2.4 miscellaneous practice exercise problems okay in that you shall see the second problem first problem is the homework okay an agricultural field is in the form of a parallelogram which area is 68.75 square hectometer the distance between the parallel sides is 6.25 hectometer find the length of the base they are given the area which is in the parallelogram shape agriculture field they are given the area as 68.75 square hectometer the distance between the parallel sides that is height isn't it we know now only we saw the distance between the parallel sides height height they are given you have to find the length of the base first we shall draw the diagram okay height they are given you have to find the base then area they are given given agriculture field is in the form of parallelogram height of the parallelogram is 6.25 hectometer area of the parallelogram is equal to 68.75 hectometer square otherwise you can write a square hectometer both are right to find the base of the parallelogram we have to find the base of the parallelogram that is area of the parallelogram is equal to bh square units that is bh is equal to 68.75 this is the area they are given then also they are given the height that is 6.25 b is equal to 68.75 you keep the b this side and bring the 6.25 this side and come to the denominator now you multiply both numerator and denominator by 100 then it will come a whole number 6875 by 625 you divide one time 625 remainder 62 then again bring down 5 okay then it will be 625 again one time 625 that is 11 hectometer so answer the base of the parallelogram is equal to 11 hectometer okay 
Now we shall see the third problem. A square and a parallelogram have the same area. One square we have and also a parallelogram have. Both have the same area. If the side of the square is 48 meter. In the square all the sides are equal isn't it. So 48 meter one side is. And the height of the parallelogram is 18 meter. Find the length of the base of the parallelogram. Okay. Now we shall draw the diagram. This is a square. This is a parallelogram. They are given the one side. So all the sides are 48 meter. Then they are given height as 18 meter. Base they didn't give. You have to find the base. Uh, before that, if we, uh, if we want to find the base means here we need the area. They said the both have the same area, isn't it? So first you have to find the area of this square. Okay. That is side of a square is equal to 48 meter. Height of the parallelogram is equal to 18 meter. Area of a square is equal to area of parallelogram. To find the base of the parallelogram. Area of a square is equal to area of the parallelogram. Okay. So... First, A is equal to 48 meter and H is equal to 18 meter. They said both the areas are same. So, A square is equal to BH square units. A square square units is equal to BH square units. Now, A square means you know the A, uh, A value. So, A into A is equal to B into H value, you know, 18. Now, keep the B here itself and bring the 18 this side means it will come to the denominator. Now you cancel 18 and 48. Okay. 48 and 18 are in 6 table, isn't it? 6 3s are 18. 6 6 are, sorry, 6 8s are 48. Okay. 6 3s are 18 and uh, 6 8s are 48. So now again you can cancel 3 and 48. 1 3 is 3. Remainder 1, 18, that is 16. Now, here 1, 16 into 8. So, B is equal to 16 into 8, that is equal to 128 meter. Answer, the base of the parallelogram is equal to 128 meter. We will see the fourth problem. The height of the parallelogram is 1 fourth of its base. If the area of the parallelogram is 676 square centimeter, find the height and base. The height of the parallelogram is equal to 1 fourth of base. So height is equal to 1 by 4 B. So B is equal to B. Base is equal to B. Okay. Then they are given the area of parallelogram. They have drawn the diagram. B Base is B. And height is 1 by 4 B. Then base of the parallelogram is equal to B centimeter. It is B centimeter. Height of the parallelogram is equal to 1 by 4 B centimeter. Now they are given the area also 676 square centimeter. To find the height and the base. Solution. Area of the parallelogram is equal to BH square units. That is BH is equal to 676 square centimeter okay now you substitute b for b b h 1 by 4 b is equal to 676 so you can write the 6 here b into b bring the 4 this side then by prime factorization you split 676 2 times 338 2 times 169 13 13 is 160 okay 2 into 2 so b into b comes b square 2 into 2 into 13 into 13 into 4. Okay. This also one 4. 4 into 4. 13 into 13. Then square. 4 square into 13 square. So 4 into 13. The whole square you can write. Then square and square gets cancelled. Then 4 13 are 52 centimeter. Then B, base is B is equal to 52 centimeter. Height is equal to 1 by 4 into 52. That is 13 centimeter. Okay. We can do like this. Otherwise, 
you can write b is equal to you bring the square this side means it will come to the square root this side 4 square into 13 square then take 1 times 4 outside 1 times 13 outside yeah. write this also you can do answer base is equal to 52 centimeter height is equal to 13 centimeter then we shall move to fifth problem the area of the rhombus is 576 square centimeter and the length of one of its diagonal is half of the length of the other diagonal okay and find the length of the diagonals okay then you have to draw the diagram first that is d1 d2 this is a rhombus okay one of the diagonal d1 is equal to take d1 itself then other diagonal is half of first diagonal so 1 by 2 into d1 d2 is equal to then area they are given as 576 square centimeter to find the length of the diagonals solution area of the rhombus is equal to 1 by 2 into d1 into d2 square units okay that is 1 by 2 into d1 into d2 is equal to 576 let us substitute the value of d2 in this 1 by 2 into d1 is equal to 576 so now 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 4 this one 2 2 comes this side means it will come to the numerator so d1 into d2 is d1 into d1 is equal to d1 square so now we split this by prime factorization 2 into 2 into 2 table 576 288 again 2 table 144 Again 2 table 72, again 2 table 36, again 2 table 18, again 2 table 9, 3 table 3, then 3 table 1. Now how many 2's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 2's. So 6 2's means two, 6 2's we are written, then 2 3's, again already have 2 2's. What a two square? They write in squares. Two square, two square, two square, three square, two square. Now d1 square is equal to take one one outside. Two twos are four. Four twos are eight. Eight threes are twenty-four. Twos are forty-eight. Then d1 is equal to forty-eight centimeter, and d2 is equal to half of d1. So half of forty-eight is equal to twenty-four centimeter. Okay. Answer. The diagonals D1 is equal to 48 cm, D2 is equal to 24 cm. Okay, then you shall move to the sixth problem. A ground is in the form of isosceles trapezium with parallel sides measuring 42 cm and 36 m long. The distance between parallel sides is 30 m. Find the cost of Leveling it at the rate of rupees 135 per square meter. Okay, what are they given? They are given 42 meter and 36 meter for the trapezium. Both the parallel sides they are given. Okay, the distance between the parallel sides. What is this? Yes, it is height. Then A given, B given and also height also given. You have to find the area. After that, you have to see the leveling the what is the rate of leveling okay we shall draw the diagram first that is 42 meter 36 meter then the distance between the parallel sides that is height is equal to 30 meter now leveling per meter square is equal to rupees 135 per meter square is 135 then cost of to find the cost of leveling the ground Solution, area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 into A plus B into H square units. So, 1 by 2 into 42 plus 36 into 30 is equal to, have to add these two and you have to cancel these two. That is 15. Okay. Then 42 plus 36, 78. 78 into 15. Then area is, you have to multiply these two. That is 1170 meter square. Then cost of leveling per meter square is equal to rupees 135. 
for thousand hundred and seventy meter square is equal to rupees one thirty five into thousand hundred and seventy. That is rupees one lakh fifty seven thousand and nine hundred and fifty. So answer cost of leveling the ground. That is trapezium shaped ground is equal to rupees thousand one lakh fifty seven thousand and nine hundred and fifty. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.